I am an activist and a human rights defender. It was at 2.30 when I got a call from a colleague tell, informing me that uh, a child had been insult, assaulted by a stepmother and uh, good enough, the area where this, this incident happened is where I live. So uh, I got the contact of the persons who were at the scene. I stopped, actually now I stopped what I was doing. I had to rush to Ereda Chambers Police Outpost. I reported to the police officer who was available at that time. Uh, I told him of what had happened at the scene, but uh, he could not move with me because he was the only person, the police officer at the station. The rest had gone for field work, for operation. So I came up to the scene and uh, the child had already been taken to the hospital. Lifeline Medical Center. So when I reached there, I got a doctor. I am great. I am glad for that the doctor was able to examine this child, and uh, the doctor also got knew my contact and also got to call me to come and help them follow up on this issue. So when I got there, I met with the doctor. I made some interventions with uh, the father of the child and uh, the stepmother of the kid. Times are changing. Where really you would hold the child, a stepkid, so tight. And, and why would I, why would a mother build a bad relationship with a child? What keeps a relationship in a family is the kids and the parents. So I am advising stepmothers because anytime anyone can be a stepmother, even me who is talking, I can be a stepmother now or tomorrow. Let's support the children, let's support them, let's make sure that they're safe, let's grant them security, safety and security. Let's create a um, a favorable environment because uh, it's a generation coming up it's a generation behind us tomorrow it's COVID time we do not know what will happen you see it's taking away now the youth maybe it's the kids who will come and replace us we just need to take care of our children and also to the fathers I think they need to take note of the kids most times let them have great time visibility for their children have time interact with the kids or if you if you're a stepfather and uh, if you're a step if you're a man and you're living with a, another wife taking care of your children i think for me i would advise have time with your kids take them out once in a while without the mother interact with them also create a good relationship with the people you're living with because those are the people who will bring inform who will inform you if the kids are doing well or they are not doing well. Because you know these days people fear being witnesses in court. They will see things happening. They will see domestic violence. They will see torture. They will see people being killed. But they will not come out to defend or to help this person. So let's just create a good environment. Let's just create awareness also maybe for the organizations. Let's come up create more awareness especially this COVID time women are also going through a lot probably we have lost our jobs or our businesses fell off during COVID time and uh, we do not have that money you know and we've come back home and uh, we are waiting for money from home or support from our from our husbands so we need to come up together we we don't know it's only God maybe the situation will again come back will normalize and everyone will go back to their workstations or their businesses. But uh, let's not uh, assault our own children. They are our business.